something special to show you guys in this video. One of my friends, um, who used to be one of my students, actually loved my car project so much a couple years ago, he bought his own. Check it out. He got a CB7, 93 CB7 LX, just like mine, um, Arcadia Green. But uh, he's got some special parts on this car that you might recognize, so I want to show you. So, check out this. It's my exhaust. Check out those. My wires and my spark plugs inside. He um, has some of my parts, and uh, he's got his own short ram. Uh, he got his own P12 ECU installed there's his old one and so right now we're gonna install this intake manifold baby that's my uh h23 manifold i gave it to him um because i'm obviously going bigger no matter what i do as you saw in the other video got my own issues to get through but we're gonna put this manifold on right now and uh and we're gonna put everything together because he's got to drive this on tuesday so let's get going what we're gonna do is we're gonna Spray his gasket, put that on. We're gonna put the intake manifold on after he cleans some of the oil out from the uh, the cylinders that he can. And uh, then we're gonna hook everything back up. There's a lot to hook up, as you might have guessed, and or as you might have known. And then we're gonna uh, put the coolant in there. Who here um, tightening down the uh, fuel rail nuts on these studs and that stud at the end broke off and um, there's just a tiny bit that can thread on it's just really sketchy so we're trying to figure out what the best thing to do is right now because we don't have the the left-handed drill bit to drill it out but we might be able to lock onto it some right-handed drill bits and then just uh, turn it around so we'll see Okay, so the progress we have, we filled it with oil. We're about to do coolant and bleed it. We're putting the short ram on, intake manifolds on, and we just decided to tighten this finger tight and we'll check for leaks if the stud is broken. It did thread about one and a half cycles of thread. So it did thread on, but it just, you can't tighten it anymore. It starts to come out. So we're gonna put the oil cap on, make sure all our lines are covered. Everything's hooked up. We have just under the amount of coolant we need. We're really close. So you do look in there and you see it and it's coming out the bleeder valve also. So what we're going to do is we're going to check and make sure fuel's not spraying out. He's going to turn it to number two right now. Okay. I don't see any. What was that sound? That was the, that was the coolant. Yeah. I don't see any fuel leaking. Right. He's going to crank it a few times without starting it. Just like a few turns of the starter. Go ahead. You can do it. More. Good. A little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, you see how you see how you have to hold the gas down now? Because you don't have the fast idle thermal valve. Take the pedal up and watch what it does. Yeah, let's see if it dies. Completely off? Good. It's idling pretty well, dude. Frick! <laughs> That's what you 
get when you put rhino ramps on nice slick rock surface. We learned that once and we forgot, of course. Alright. Make sure you take the e-brake out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's driven so long. H22, H23 intake manifold. A lot more, a lot more room in that plenum. The runners are a nice length. Uh, it's a great, easy upgrade compared to other things you can do. Yeah, man. It's running great. We just adjusted the idle a little tighter to get it to about 800. And, um, dude, it's running so nice. We just need to properly bleed the coolant system because we didn't we need to put a little bit more in it. And, um, dude, this car's great. I'm definitely super happy for that kid. He deserved it. He worked hard on that car. It was really weird to drive it. I drove it on the way back to the house. Um, to hear all my parts on that car and the sound of the motor being exactly like what my CB7 used to sound like is getting me super stoked for what's coming on my motor, which you're going to see real soon. So, and you'll see the more of that car too, because we'll be racing together in Laguna Seca. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Falconator signing out.